Alright you people, how you all doing? So I'm going to do you another wee beer review, right? Uh, I'll, I'll take you there and show you my wee beer, my wee beer cupboard. See what I'm going to fucking pack, I don't know yet, so here we go. <coughs> right, this is, this is my wee beer cupboard here, people. Oh, different eels, I've got about six, seven eels here. Right, yeah, there's a the hobgoblin, right? There. There's this new one, I'll, I'll get the two of them out and show you. Right. There's a hobgoblin, there's a king goblin, this is one I've not tried yet, so I'll show you in a wee sec. So people, this is another beer for the Witchwood Brewery, right? This is hobgoblin, right? You'll see this in my last beer review, well, one of my, one of my beer reviews that I did. And I told you I had it at a party once and I fucking couldn't remember what it tastes like. So I've done a wee beer review and it's a top-notch beer one, and one of the better ales I've tried. So, um, and, and I've just noticed in the supermarket, a local supermarket, it was Morrison's, right? That they've brought this one out. It's called King Goblin. Same same place, Witchwood Brewery. But this is a special reserve, right? It says, an e extraordinary beer of excep exceptional quality. So it's bumming itself up a wee bit. But I've all, I've, I've seen it and I've keep meaning, keep meaning to pick it up. So I've eventually bought one. It's, a, it's actually about a pound dearer than that one. Uh, but it's maybe... A, you get it for under two fifty anyway, but it's over two quid. This one, you get this one for maybe about one sixty or something. Like maybe it's near enough a pound here for this one. So we'll get a wee bash. It's King Goblin. I've heard, I, I, I've no, I've no, I've never tried it before. So we'll try it. I can get a wee bash. See how we go on. So people, we'll crack it open and see if we get any smoke out of it. Right here we go. I don't know if you can see it. All right. Oof, plenty of smoke. Now I don't know if you can see it. You see it? All right. No. No. Oh, well, I can see it anyway, there's plenty of smoke coming out of it. So on with the pour, see how we go on. Can you see this? Oh, yeah. There's still fucking smoke coming out of it while I'm pouring. Good shit. It's a... It's a dark ale anyway, to me. There you go. I get every, every last drop here. So... There you go, it's a little... Dark, dark brown colour, if you can see that, that's sort of a uh, dark brown colour, let's smell it, you can smell, like, you can smell what it says on the bottle, like a roasted malt, you can definitely smell like a, ro a roasted malt sort of smell, and it's that sort of woody smell, like the last one, mind the, the, the Anderson Gun review I had, uh, it was easy in oak barrels, you can smell a, a woody sort of smell off it, you can s smell that with this and all. Don't know if it's been aged in oak barrels, but you can s smell that woody smell. And uh, it's quite, you can smell a wee bit of hops. And a sort of spicy sort of smell. But aye, it's nice. Nice smell anyway, so we'll crack on with the taste, here we go. Another another cracker, another cracking beer for the Witchwood Brewery people. It's a sort of <coughs> smooth taste. It's a a wee bitterness, a wee bitterness there, sort of chocolatey, and you can taste like a, a roasted malt sort of taste as well. But definitely nice, man. It's really really nice. I mean, this is a this beer's a six point six percent alcohol in it, and. There's that much going on, you can't really taste the alcohol off it, it's really nice. <coughs> a lot of flavours. A like a chocolatey toffee sort of uh, taste as well. We <coughs> wee background of bitterness, but the bitterness is nice. It's, it is, uh, uh, no 100% similar to the Hobgoblin, but it is nice. And you can obviously tell it's a wee bit stronger with the alcohol content, but as I say, it's no, it's no the, it's no the alcohol you're tasting. I don't know, it's just like a, like a woody sort of taste, like a woody sort of taste here. Smooth as well, easy to drink. Nice, nice beer. I'd advise you people, if you if you like the, put it down a wee sec. <coughs> if you like the old hog goblin. Definitely go out and buy the, the King Goblin. So a step up, 
that's all it is, it's like a step up for that one. But um aye, it's I'll tell you this shit it says in the back. You see see all these L's have always got mad bullshit fucking stories behind them, right? But I'll tell you. It says here, where is it? Blah blah blah. Uh, it says only ever brewed under a full lunar moon with crystal malts and sovereign hops for a rich smooth, subliminally satisfying taste of pure indulgence. There you go. But uh, I wouldn't fucking I wouldn't fucking say it was that good, but it's a nice beer. Uh, hi, nice. To tell to tell the truth, I do prefer the hobgoblin. We but I, I, I don't know, but I prefer it. it's nicer. But uh, definitely still a good beer. I'll get a, I don't know, seven. Get a seven out of ten. But uh, aye, it's nice, nice, all the same. But <coughs> as I say, I prefer the Hobgoblin. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I don't know why. Just my my preference. But definitely good to try it, people. So there it is, King Goblin for the Witchwood Brewery. Another cracking beer for the Witchwood Brewery, by the way. That's two I've had for it. And the 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 day all different ones. Uh, they do have a, a nail called Goliath, Scarecrow, uh, what's the other ones, I've seen I've seen a, f a few that they do, and plus they do the, um, seasonal sort of beers as well, but um, that, that's two I've had for the Witchwood Brewery, so definitely, if you're into your, if you're into your ales and that, check them out. I've, I've, I've also noticed a thing, the day that they're doing like the cases of the ales uh, in Costco, and I think they were doing them in Asda as well, but I'm going to, I'm going to, Give them a wee bash, I might, I might even go out and buy it at the mall or something like that. But I'm going to go out and get the, the case I own. You get the, you get the, the, the different bills, the different ales in it, like the Goliath, you get the Scarecrow. I can't mind the other one. I can't, I can't mind the names of them, but there's, there's all that there's maybe about, I think that there's about maybe five, five beers at the day, five ales at the day. Uh, and plus the day they're seasonal things. So I'll definitely go out and buy that, people. So a big thumbs up for the King Goblin. Uh, 7 out of 10. So there you go people. See you all later. Peace out.